Greetings Capricorn, this one's for you. It's from Tarot Illumination. It's your June 2019 Love and Relationship Mini Generic Report. Okay, so <clears throat> if you've been here before, you know the drill. You can just go skip straight to the cards if you want to. I'm going to do a little bit of an intro with some uh, Astro Doodles from Tarot Illumination and a little bit of an explanation about the spread in the reading. I'm going to use the Tarot Illumination Crucible spread. It's only understanding that there's you, Capricorn, a significant other, and a third entity, the relationship itself. Okay? The Crucible is a bowl-type structure they use in laboratories to uh, withstand uh, intense alchemical reactions. It's the same thing that happens in human relationship. Okay? And you guys own this thing. You own the relationship. Now, Cards are already well shuffled in advance. I go to the last second so that you're a witness. And we're not going to do any jumpers or flyers or reversals, but we are going to have an oracle. But before we get to that, I want to show you this. <laughs> I know, it's scary, isn't it? What does it all mean? Anyway, it means something to Terra Illumination. It's not a real chart. It's an impression of the whole month layered upon a layer, okay? I'm going to get back to this in a second. I just want to show you the basic information for the month. Key dates, uh, the new moon on the 3rd, full moon on the 17th, sun into Cancer on the 21st. And later on, Neptune goes retrograde. So we have a huge wall of heavy retrogrades, Jupiter, Sept, Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto. Saturn. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and... Uh, <clears throat> Over here, these are the hot spots for the month. Now, Capricorn, because you are a cardinal sign, you might get affected by this uh, more than some others. So I really felt obliged to point it out because to me it looks quite extreme. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm showing you anyway. The hot spots, I'm just showing you like very elementary diagrams. This is the opposition. This, 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 and this. It's ongoing all month. It is the Cancer Capricorn opposition. And that's even before uh, we've got into July with the eclipses, the Cancer Capricorn eclipses. So it's pretty intense, okay? And because of this, it, uh, it impacts you directly. You are a cardinal sign and you're getting impacted directly by this aspect and axis here. It gets very stressful around the 20, 12th and 13th because of the transiting moon. Also, <clears throat> On the 26th because of the transiting moon okay i'll just leave this here you can have a look and pause it if you want the 14th is a little bit of respite you know it's a sweet 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 moment in time here for everybody 18th is stressful okay anyway i just wanted to point that out these are important calendar moments that are not necessarily to do with the month in terms of like the full moon and the new moon these are trigger points okay very important for you to know, all right? Oh, oh, sorry. Let me go back to this quickly. So, dear Cancer Capricorn people, well, this is really all about Capricorn, that's you. That big red thing that's sitting right on top of your relationship axis. The trigger point day is around the 18th, okay? But this is going on all month. You've got Mars there, you've got Mercury, you've got the North Node there. So there could be a lot of, let's say, volatility, activity, uh, perhaps conflict, uh, anger, or excitement, or passion, or just getting a lot of stuff done in a relationship, okay, because of the Mars activation. Act activation. <laughs> okay, calm down. And this here is the hot spot, the big T-square. This here is the hot pot. <laughs> Hot spot, T-square. 12th and the 13th, moon through Libra. Around the 26th, moon through Aries, okay? So that is very stressful for you. That's very stressful for you. But we can grow through our stresses, okay? Anyway, here we go. Oh, by the way, Cancer is your opposing sign. It would be the marriage sign or the house of open enemies. Seventh house is ruled by cancer for you. That's why I felt it was so important to point this out. Let's get to it. You know what to do. Invite your invisible friends. This is a team effort here. Bless the cards. Bless every single card in the deck. Bless you, Capricorns, for being here. Let's do this. 
less channel, less termination that we could do this at all. Okay, here is what here's you. What are you vibrating? What are you resonating? What are you sending out to the universe? What are you receiving? Okay, over here, the significant other. Singles, you can watch this if you want to. Um, you have to allow for the laws of attraction as though this is like potential energy, the energy of what if. Okay, and then allow the laws of attraction in action. Over here, deep down inside of you, deep inside of the other, perhaps at the subconscious or soul level, and to the core of the relationship itself. Okay, and whatever is, well, can you see here the, the crucible? Okay, this is the bowl structure in which the relationship is conducted as we intimate and we separate, okay? As we all do in all relationships. Over here, what is being fostered, nurtured, grown? Think of this as a potted plant. What's happening here, okay? Over here, we're gonna look at the weather. We have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, so to me, it looks like it's really stark, kind of in your face, okay, Capricorn? Uh, I'm gonna focus directly on this thing here. It's right in your face. There are new chances, new starts for new beginnings. I'm not because it's a new moon here, but because of the lot of activity going on here, stimulating the seventh house, opening the door opportunities for, like, let's say, getting things done, okay, in relationship. Let's add the full moon, new moon anyway here. There's the full moon, okay? There's the new moon. New moon on the third, full moon on the 14th, okay? Let's just say perhaps in some way to do with health and healing, uh, new opportunities are triggered just before you get into the seventh house of love and relationship, okay? Let's have a look. What are you radiating here? Queen of coins, okay. So Capricorn, it looks like you've been doing a really, really good job of doing things properly in a very thorough, responsible way without necessarily uh, imposing certain expectations or certain outcomes on the relationship, literally focusing on yourself, being a really good, classic, high-end, high-vibration Capricorn, and manifesting from within. Okay, being loving, being loved, loving thyself first so that you're not seeking, let's say, like validation from the other. In other words, you're just being you. You're being a very optimized version of you and you're sensing the opportunity for love, for new love, for new starts, new beginnings in love so that the healing power of love can flow into your life from above, and you are making that your business. How exactly that plays out is a whole other thing. It's almost as though you might have been watching this channel a lot and realized that, wow, I can take responsibility for this. I can be a really high-end Capricorn and manifest from within. Uh, Capricorns, you're typically good at handling three-dimensional day-to-day reality, probably a lot better than a lot of people. And so it looks like you're actually making that your business, okay? And doing a good job of it. Let's have a look. What are they radiating over here? Two of wands. So to me, it feels like it's putting them in a position of uh, what now? What now? What now? What now? What am I supposed to do now? And that's fine. It almost doesn't matter to you, Capricorn, what they do now, because like you're, it's like you're, you're emanating love from the core, from the center of your being, and then you're literally allowing for the laws of attraction in action, okay? Mars in Cancer, for example, all month, triggering energy from the other side, like, whoa, this is extremely stimulating. The laws of attraction in action. So what does that leave for me? What do I do now? Where do I focus all my energy? Where do I focus my dreams, my attention, my desires, my passion? I have to think about this. So there's, to me, it looks like there's like open-ended uh, opportunities here for you, for the relationship and for the other party. Uh, and it's happening through this process of you, you know, like creating the love from the inside out, being a vortex, almost as if you're saying to yourself, I ask for the healing power of love. 
to fill my love and relationships from up above, my loved one from up above, my life, my body, mind, heart, and soul from above. And you're doing that. And then look what happens. Hmm, what now? What am I going to do now? New opportunities for them, for the relationship, how love can flow to them as well, thanks to you. Okay, it's like you're creating a vortex. It's almost like a funnel. And to me, it almost feels like it's a funnel. You're creating a funnel through which the healing power of love can flow into the relationship from up above. And it puts them on notice, like, wow, this is like cool. And you might not even be doing this openly or conscious, like in a very overt way. Typically, Capricorn, you don't like, you know, splurge all over the place with your emotions and say, Hey, let's do this cool spiritual thing. I learned it off the Termination Channel. We're gonna do that. Blah, 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 blah. No, to me, this is you're, you're just doing it and containing it and just being and living by example. Like nobody, no one would even know, but it's happening anyway. Deep inside of you, judgment. Okay, and there's a mo there's a reason for this. To me, it looks like there's motivation and reason. Uh, for this to happen, for you to be behaving and acting the way you are, making the decisions that you're making, and literally going next level love, because you're seeing how the energy of opportunity works from the heavens above, okay? All right, you're getting a glimpse and you're understanding, wow, it's up to me to take charge of this thing. I've got this massive Pluto and Saturn uh, conjunction uh, starting to pile up and sit on top of me, and it's not going any away anytime soon. You've probably been through a lot of stresses over the last few years, especially recently, because this conjunction is getting tighter and tighter, and there's a lot of learning that's happened. It might have been very stressful like eight years ago when this first started, this journey, but now you're, you're in classic Capricorn modality, and you're getting it. You're understanding, like, wow, real power of manifestation power, the power that comes with genuine loving manifestation and bringing it down here into reality and then seeing things reflected back to you from the world of relationships around you, okay? All the stressful factors, all the healthy factors, and it's liberating. In other words, uh, all the stuff that needs healing uh, becomes exposed for the healing. That's extremely liberating. All the stuff that you can enjoy from having created this vortex of love where you can absorb it and enjoy it literally like living under a rainbow living in a beautiful summer uh, rain shower that just creates lusciousness uh, after the storms are over that too is very liberating it creates new life new growth starting from scratch again extreme liberation and that's what you wanted and now you're actually manifesting it. Open the doorway, opening the doorways to love and healing, opening doorways to redeem yourself, redeem others, redeem the relationship. It's almost like blessing the whole world around you, literally like that song that I do. Uh, so you can bless your enemies, bless the ones that you love, and you do it all from within. In other words, it doesn't matter whether you have been slighted, hurt, uh, like demonized, crushed, exploited, uh, Whatever it is, you take it, you handle it, because you are guided and you are protected, and you bless them. You bless yourself. You bless your loved one. You bless the, the relationship. You bless the world around you. You bless your enemies. You bless everything. And in so doing, you create liberation and freedom. None of them might know that this is happening, but it benefits you, and it will have hopefully a, a deep, profound, psychological, subliminal impact on them you know like i'm used before in readings like emp uh electromagnetic pulse uh, type weaponry where in other words it's just like there's that airplane and it kind of goes <laughs> it's an emp and it's, it's you they use it in warfare to like obliterate uh enemy infrastructure and no no bombs went off no bullets were shot it's an emp <clears throat> and it's very very liberating and i'm not saying this in a negative way like it's a negative weapon i'm saying it's maybe it's like uh like an 
energy magnet magnetic pulse, okay? Or an LMP, a loving magnetic pulse. LMP, that's what we're gonna call it, an LMP bomb. A love bomb. <laughs> it's a love bomb. <laughs> All right, what are they radiating here? Knave of Swords, okay, with the Knave, this is very much about deep down, and to me it feels like it's about time. It's about time we had this liberation. It's about time we had this calling out of the truth. I've been wanting this for a long time. I need this. I need the redemption. I need the reconciliation. I need the forgiveness. I need the blessings of the new starts. Thank you so, so much, dear Capricorn. And that could be from, again, it could be happening on a very subliminal level. In other words, you could be just wandering around in your life like, <laughs> And you start to notice these amazing but very profound subliminal and subtle things that are happening for you in love and relationships simply because you have gained so much knowledge, wisdom, strength, power, and ability to manifest. And you kind of go, mm -hmm. oh. and they're like, oh my God, you would never imagine what I just figured out, what I just decided. I'm not sure to activate it, but I, I have to tell you this amazing thing that just happened. There was like this, I sensed this love bomb going off in my life recently. And I'm like, mm, oh, really? Mm, okay. Yes, really, I'm not kidding. You have no idea what just happened. It's, it's just an amazing experience. It was subliminal. It was profound. It was just, it ha hit me to the core of my heart. Oh, really? Oh, that's, I'm, ha I'm so happy for you. Oh, okay, so what, what do I do now? Whatever it is you do in these situations. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, how liberating. All right. Like, you knew this deep down in your soul. You knew this, like you were craving this, you would wanted this. You would have called it out. If it hadn't happened to you, if the love bomb hadn't been dropped on you, there would become a point where you would have called out, like, we need something radical to happen in our relationship. I'm, I'm going to call it out. I am going to be the whistleblower on us, on me, on the relationship and everything that's wrong. But it's almost like it's superfluous it's because the love bomb is already in play. What about here, the relationship itself? So this leads to transformation, deep, deep soul transformation, which again relates very profoundly to all this stuff I just showed you. Okay. Over here, love bomb. <laughs> And it leads to profound transformation inside of you and your world and your identity because you're operating at much higher frequencies, much higher levels to the point where the love that's coming out here, the end, which is very rich and evident, uh, living by example, you're just seeing it now witness coming back to you, okay? And that equates to the Plutonic energy over here of radical Irreversible transformation. Some people think of this as a Pluto card. So it's almost like at, a, at an even deeper level, you might have been doing one of those other tarot illumination things. Dear, dear angels, heaven and heavenly beings, please bring to me that which is mine. Please take away from me that which is not mine. And that's exactly what's going on here. This is deep, profound, transformational healing vibrational energy healing happening at the very core, the very depth of the relationship. Again, probably at a very profound subliminal level. And only you would know. All right, let's have a look. What's uh, fostered here, okay. See, love breeds love, simple. You start with the good intention, you take the opportunity when it's there, you do all the work years and years and years and years of work and then you implement classic capricorn you implement you execute you do what has to be done at this level and look what happens you generate happiness and this is happiness that's not contingent upon anyone or anything else this is like universal happiness and love that uh, it's almost like you know having a blank check where you have effectively created value through hardship. 
And so this is very valuable to the other. This is very valuable to you. This is very valuable to the relationship. Think of this as a very beautiful plant that has resulted from your efforts and having someone at your side who is willing to live through this experience with you, even though they might not have a full understanding of what's going on. It's like it almost doesn't matter. What counts is this. And if everybody in your life, in your world, including the other, looks at you and says, what the heck is going on? How did you do that? Seriously, how did you do this? Where did, like, this is amazing. I, I, this is what I want to do. I want to do this too. And like, it, like, I wish I could have done it. I was going to try and figure out how to do it. And I needed this to happen, but it's already happened. Like, how did that happen? It's just like, oh, well, uh, well I was just, you know, I was just doing my part, you know, and uh, you know, what do you expect? Wow. Wow. Yeah, think of this as a very beautiful plant that is flowering right now. It might have happened the hard way, the long way, but there you go. So let's uh, squash this over here a little bit, tighten it up, and we're going to do your oracle, okay? We're going to do that as a kind of a courtesy, a little farewell gift at the end of the reading, and hopefully it will add a little bit of color and perspective. Let's see, we're going to use the Romance Angels deck. <clears throat> I love it. All right, and I'm going to call out the card, okay? You have to trust me. Okay. Remember, okay, cross your fingers, cross your fingers, invite your invisible friends. Stop. There we go. This is your card. Free yourself. Da, 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 da. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? We've kind of already dealt with the subject. <laughs> it's a picture of a unicorn inside a, like a paddock over here. It's an amazing unicorn. And obviously the unicorn wants to go, doing. okay? So if you think of yourself perhaps as the unicorn, woof! All right. <clears throat> it says here, for you, dear Capricorns, it says, like the unicorn in the image on this card, you may be feeling trapped. Perhaps you have relinquished control to someone else, or maybe you feel smothered in your career or relationship. As you tune into yourself, you will sense the specific areas where this message applies to you. You can even ask yourself, <clears throat> in what ways do I feel limited or constrained? Trust the answers that you receive. This card comes to you from the Romance Angels because they've heard your call for great love, okay? To experience passion, though, you must first allow yourself to feel deep emotions, okay? And in doing so, you may come up against areas of your life where you harbor discontent. Simply by acknowledging these areas, you bring light to the situation and allow room for the angels to help you. Okay? Hint, 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 hint. As you commit to taking back control of your life, your feelings will naturally thaw and reawaken. This leads to a greater capacity to love thyself, your partner, and your experiences, and I would say your relationship in your life in the world around you. Okay? So I think this... Uh, relates very closely to the deep, deep soul energy here of judgment, where the soul is literally craving freedom, redemption, reconciliation, which is basically liberty, freedom, and that's what's happening. So this, this adds to the reading. This compounds the whole thing, okay? I hope this makes sense to you, dear Capricorn. I hope you get something out of this. Uh, please let me know. I love the subscribes, the likes, the comments, and especially membership. Check out the links below and let me know how this works for you. Okay? Bye-bye and all the best. You can handle it.